Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, we defeated the Trillion Edge Sprout and reached the third Your Sanctuary location, Milky Well. This time, we're stranded in Dusty Dunes Desert at the end of the longest traffic jam on the planet. And we're going to be skipping, we're going to be going off the beaten trail and working our way through the desert, grabbing whatever items lie along the way. And you can see that I, off screen, have bought enough items to outfit me for that task. I have five skip sandwiches, a wet towel to deal with sunstroke. Paula has a lot of healing items and just great items in general. And Jeff has some more bottle rockets. So he he's looking pretty good. And this inventory is fantastic. I've never had an inventory that looked this good. So it all starts with me using a skip sandwich. Let's run. <laughs> Magic Butterfly, and enemies! The first enemies of the area! This is a Skelpion, and a cute little UFO. You want to focus the UFO first. It's not powerful, but it deals consistent damage, so you want to kill it first. Oh, whoa! <laughs> wow! The Skelpion was like, no, bro, you want to focus me first. Uh, let's have Ness Bash. And Paula, you use... No, no, you don't use that cup of life noodles. You use the peanut cheese bar on Jeff, since you're going to go first. And Jeff, why don't you just shoot it? Skelpion tries thunder, does 100 damage to Paula. Wow, Skelpion. Bro, you're showing your worth. So I should have killed you first, apparently. Ness's level is now 29. HP went up by 1, PP went up by 2. Ness realized the power of Paralysis Omega. Okay, I'm not... I'm not looking too frosty. Uh, is there still a butterfly down there? There is. And I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> okay, hopefully this is not an indication of what I'm going to be going through this episode. Let's use... Life Up on Paula. And that should be enough. That That's definitely enough! Uh, Scalpion! Ah, uh, you, one attack, did that to Paula, and I ended the battle before it did the full damage, so it did more than that. Oh, and uh, I'm ignoring this monkey for now since it's relevant later, so I'll come back and then talk to it. I just don't want to be showing the same thing twice, so I'm ignoring it for now. Man, Skelpion, I didn't even know that it had, uh, I'd never seen it use Thunder Alpha, so that was a surprise to me. Let's have, let's have Ness use healing on himself since he has sunstroke. And then let's do up another skip sandwich. Use. And let's run. Hopefully avoiding enemies. Are there any enemies? There are no enemies. Neat. And we reached the place where I wanted to reach. This, if you examine this black speck, it will talk to us. Why would you feel like uh, talking to a, bl a tiny black sesame like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame that I hurt before. If I could just see her. Da 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 And somehow, Camera Guy feels like that now is the perfect time to zero in on our location. Pictures taken instantaneously with Canon cameras. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And remember, never, ever, trust Sony to deliver those instant memories. Always buy Canon camera, and you will be amazing and awesome. So, I talked about the smile and sphere, and there it is. Speaking of... I'm not going to call it the devil, because it's not the devil, but... Speaking of him, he's down there. Uh, and I'm going to ignore that butterfly. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it to, to die to talk to a butterfly. Butterfly! <laughs> uh, so many enemies, and they're not really that threatening. I mean, the Skelpions will use thunder, sure. They'll deal a lot of damage, but on average, they're not that good. <sighs> but there's another enemy that you want to watch out for. But this one, you don't want to run away from. You want to run towards it. Uh, it's a worm. If you see a worm, it will immediately run away from you. You take that as your cue to use a skip sandwich and give chase. Get, go in pursuit of it. 
because if you kill it, it will give you experience equal to defeating your sanctuary location boss. Yeah, you want to you want to fight that thing. Okay, another cup of life noodles. So I have three now. I'm looking I'm looking pretty good. These inventories, man. I have never organized this well, and so it's kind it's kind of not disorienting. It's kind of eye-opening, I guess, to use your inventory correctly. Annoying kids. What a group of brats. Scat, you little monsters. Wow, he's rude, or she's rude. <sighs> Scalpion. I have a feeling that if I ever play Pokemon, the Scorpion Pokemon will do, do the most trouble. Okay, let's kill the Scalpion first, since I think that... Wow, I missed everything. I think that was the key to their victory. Smash attack on the Scalpion. He's dead. Smash attack, or not, or bash attack on the little UFO. And the little UFO is deaded. It's deaded. I'm glad it's deaded. And we got experience. And a fresh egg. I think that's a rare drop. Uh... I'm gonna throw... Let's abandon the fresh egg. I don't really care about the fresh egg. I do care about talking to this guy. We sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't wear a bathing suit... Uh, usually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, stop staring at my tan lines. Go away. Those people are mean. I guess... I guess... Oh, they have suns... The heat... Oh! The heat is getting to them. Oh, I see what you did there, game. I didn't put two and two together, but now I did! Oh boy, no, 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 uh, life up big, use life up big on, uh, yourself, life up big on yourself, and Paula, use, oh man, the, this thing used PSI fire on me, and I instantly got down to low health. Uh, you're doing what I think you're doing, right? Goods. No, not cup of life noodles. Peanut cheese bar on yourself. And Jeff? I'm going to have you use a bottle rocket? No, use a bomb. Use a bomb. Scorpion is attacking nine damage to Paula. He threw the bomb, did some damage, and she's healed up, and Ness is now lifed up. Oh, that was close. Let's bash the Skelpion. Bash the Skelpion. Uh, no, 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 you... Uh... Okay, you bash the Skelpion. You use your peanut cheese bar on Jeff. And Jeff, you use your bottle rocket... No, you use a bash tack on the Skelpion. Uh, Ness is poisoned, at least not anyone else. Jeff's back up to good levels. Skelpion is dead. And now the Smiling Sphere is almost also dead, except he's going to go down with a fight. Oh boy. That's a lot of damage. That's too, way too much damage. But I feel like I can take him out before he takes me out? No. Let's use Life Up on Paula. And then have Paula use Freeze Alpha on the sphere, and then Jeff, you shoot it. Life Alpha hits. Hopefully, she will not. Okay, that did eight damage, but he solidified his body. Awesome, awesome. It did like no damage, but still, it canceled its turn. Okay, let's bash him into the ground, and hopefully, not take too much damage. Mortal damage to everyone, and I got out of that battle. That was a scrape. That was an absolute scrape. Okay, uh, let's see. Status, this. I learned Paralysis Omega, which I didn't look at. Par Paralysis Omega does the same thing as Alpha, except it, uh, it does it to all enemies. So, it's not really any more useful to me, in my opinion. Let's see. I, I, uh, what I need to look at, instead of stuttering, is this. That does not cure poison. That does. Okay. Let's, let's have Ness use that on himself. And then... Goods. Use the wet towel on Jeff. And then life up on Jeff. And then life up on himself. Okay, that was a scrape. That was a really tight scrape that I don't want to emulate. Uh, skip sandwich, skip sandwich, skip sandwich. 
I don't want to fight these things. Run! I'm going fast. I'm really going fast. Oh, that was nasty, man. No, no, no. I'm running scared. The <laughs> I have not had the best of fortune with these enemies. Let's talk to you. I'm just a pile of bleached bones. I can't talk. Good for you. Okay, let's scoot forward. Use... Oh, goodness. Let's use this on Paula again. <laughs> Look at the progress this episode, guys. I'm getting a bunch of stuff done. Eh, not. And stay away from me. Okay, are there no presents up here? I don't think there are. I have a map, but I'm worried about looking at it because I have a feeling that then 40 uh, smiling spheres would try to kill my body. Let's look at the map while I'm in relative safety. It looks like I got everything, except I need to go this way. I'll ignore that sign for now because I don't want to bounce everywhere. Instead, I'll go southwest. Just keep going. Running! And I'll fight these, okay. Paul's level is now 27. Speed went up by 2, IQ went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 1, PP went up by 5. Paula realized the power of PSI Shield Epsilon, I believe that is. Uh, Jeff's level is now 27. Offense went up by 1, defense by 1, guts went up by 1, IQ by 1, HP by 1. Ah! This, these enemies, I didn't remember that they were this hard. Ah! Healing on Paula. That doesn't do it. Uh, PSI. There. <laughs> I wasted a lot of things. And I'm almost out of PP, but I'm not going to be using my PP items. Now, now that I'm in relative peace, let me look at my map. Okay, I need to go north, east, to this sign. I lost a pair of contact lenses here in Dusty Dunes Desert. They were a memento from my grandma and very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me and I'll give you a reward. I'm Penitelli Giovanni. Find me at the Foreside Bakery, second floor. Good to know. And when he set up the sign, he didn't have he didn't have to go far to see that right here, right here, are the contact lenses. And we got them. So when we get to Foreside, we can visit him or her or whatever it is and tell them the good news that we found their stuff. Okay, I believe we're almost done with this area. We just need to go straight east. There's there's a bison. You don't want to fight the bison. They are hard as nails. They are hard as anything that could be hard in this world. Stinky stunk master. Ah, I'm so low on PP. Let's use this. Let's use skip sandwich because I really need to get that butterfly right now. Butterfly alert. Paul's condition is critical. She'll collapse if her condition isn't treated. No, duh. Be careful. I know that, game. I'm trying to get this butterfly so that I can heal her. Man, she is dying. Life up, beta on her. And PSI, healing beta on her again. Because she got poisoned. <sighs> this area is, is really a test of stamina. Oh my, no. I'm not running away from this. I can't. I cannot possibly run away. Uh, let's see, that's a physical shield. So that won't work. Life up. Hmm. This is a hard decision. Uh, let's bash him. Let's have Paula, since she has 100 PP now, she's in the triple digits, Let, let's have her use Shield Epsilon, which will give us all a Psychic Shield. Then Jeff, you use H, no, use a Bottle Rocket on the cute little UFO. UFO tries to life up the smiling dude, and it's dead. Now we have a Psychic Shield, so the PSI Fires shouldn't hurt. And then, the Buka's almost dead. Actually, this battle's not that bad. Sphere's attacking, doing some damn. No, 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 no. Let's attack the Buka. Attack the Buka, and attack the Buka. The Buka is not dead yet. 
and we're looking we're looking okay we're doing pretty well uh ness you're going to life up paula and paula you are going to bash the smiling sphere and ness you're going to heal her up okay this this wasn't nearly as bad as i thought it would be i'm surprised but it's still not that bad okay good oh mortal damage to everybody but i survived Man, I'm going to use my items after this, because I need to save my PP for healing status ailments. Boiled egg, Ness took it. Snap, man. Uh, let's see, do I have a double burger? Yeah, I do. Uh, well, first we'll use the cookie on myself, because cookies are useless. Then we will use the double burger on Paula. And then Paula... You can use one of your peanut cheese bars on Ness. Okay, let, now let's run away from these bison. Do I have another skip sandwich? Because I would love that. I have a DX, and I'll save that for when I really need it. Okay, we're, we're almost done with the desert, so this, tr this trial of stamina is almost done. We got another PSI caramel, which I will give to Paula. Give Paula. She has three of them now, because, because that's necessary. Okay, and now I'm, I'm I am safe. Let's check the check the thing. Okay, I need to traverse a long way, so I'm going to use my skip sound DX and run really fast all the way down here and to the right because there's another present. There's also an enemy which I barely avoided the swirls. Man, I have not been able to talk about anything besides the game this episode. This is much harder than I thought it would be. But there was one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I just wanted to give the viewers, you guys, uh, I call you guys, you guys a lot, but I, I want to give some indication as to how much longer the Let's Play is going to last. And I'm going to do that right now. We're almost halfway through the game. I just wanted to point that out in case anyone's wondering. I haven't seen any comments wondering, but I just wanted to throw it out there uh, just in case anyone did wonder. We're almost halfway through the game. And hamburger. Okay, a good hamburger. Actually, what does this do? Help. Eaten 40. Actually, that's good. That's really good. Let's use that on Jeff. And then let's use the hamburger on Jeff again. Ah, <sighs> okay. Now we can run down here. There is a mine. And this guy. This, this hole's great. Good hole. Good hole. Good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving. Do you have any food you can spare? Yes, I do. Seems like you have a lot of stuff. What are you willing to give me? This will come in handy later. Can I give you the pill? Because I don't want it. Come on, I can't eat this. You can eat a pill. Okay, I'll give you some real food. Fine. Yes, I have food that I can give you. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you the contact lenses. No, I'm thinking more like the peanut cheese bar. Unless I have a better item, or a worse item, rather. No, peanut, peanut cheese bar it is. I wish I had a useless item, but unfortunately I don't. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. Neat. So we have an ally. And finally, if we go down here, there's an item that contains a big bottle rocket. That's worth it. And then there's also a white speck. But before I, I deal with that white speck, let's use this on him. I'm really specific. I heard that the black sesame I used to love is somewhere in this desert. If you see him, please tell him that I still love him. Really? You've seen him already? Was he okay? Hmm. I see. So here's the other sesame, and this opens up a s small side quest chain. If we go north of here and talk to the black sesame seed, we will open up a chain of dialogue between them. And that's something I'm interested in doing, as long as I can avoid the enemies and talk to these bones. Even though I'm just a pile of bones, I can talk and I'm lonely uh, out here in the desert. Aw. Okay, Buka, you can, you can go. You can go die in a hole. The sesame is up to the left. For a lot further left. And Paul is back. Paul sunstroke again? Well, you're going to have to deal with it because I can't cure that. <sighs> okay, where's the black sesame? Right over here. Uh, why would you feel like talking to a strange uh, black sesame like me? Just see her. What? The white sesame still loves me? Oh. 
He's crying. Aw. Okay, so let's go back to the white sesame because this is fun. I'll cut it out, though. Butterfly. Butterfly. Butterfree, get over here. Butterfly. <sighs> I feel like Gohan in the first episode of Dragon Ball Z. Come here, Mr. Butterfly. Come here. I no. I heard that the black sesame I used to love is somewhere in this desert. If you see him, please tell him that I still love him. Really? You've seen him already? Was he okay? Hmm. I see. Is that all? Okay, I'll go back to him. Man, the efforts I go for quality content. I'm talking to sesame seeds! No! <sighs> Let's avoid the sesames and the dogs. Oh, no. No, Mr. Bison, no! Yes! Let's kill this dog. L a loud piercing howl. Let's just kill you. Please, can I kill you before you poison me? Please let me kill you before you poison me. Four damage. Fighting attack did a lot of damage to Paula, and he's dead. Ugh, this area is brutal. Ness's level is now 30. Offense went up by 2. Luck went up by 1. P uh, HP went up by 2. PP went up by 1. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Paula, life up. Can I run past you? Yes! 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 No! No! Yes! He solidified. Life up comes out. Oh, the bad buffalo is about to die. Please taste my wrath. Freeze beta connects. Kills the buffalo. Yes, it does. And the desert wolf is going to kill Paula. But I need to kill the desert wolf quickly, man. Uh, recover life up, Paula. Paula, this, and that. I don't really care about using PP because I am done with this area. I'm just doing the sesame seeds thing, then I'm done, and I can move on to Foreside because I need to get out of here. I really do. Jeff died. I can't revive him without using my life noodles, and I don't want to do that. Butterfly? Butterfly, yes! Yes, butterfly. Oh, that's a, that's a sizable boost, guys. Oh, new lease on life. Let's use life up on Ness. I'm not going to cure Paula of Sunstroke yet, because I think she can get along without it. Boosh! Paula's level is now 28. Oh, baby! Offense went up by 4, defense went up by 1, speed went up by 1, guts went up by 2, IQ went up by 1, luck went up by 2, maximum HP went up by 2, PP went up by 5. Aw, oh, man, this is so brutal. Uh, the last time I had this hard of a time in a video game was probably, well, actually on the channel, I'll clarify that, was probably in Pikmin 1. Oh boy, this is, this is hard. I did not remember this area being this difficult. It's, it's nasty, man. I didn't know deserts were this brutal. Actually, fun fact, I've never been to a desert. Uh, I want to apologize to the white sesame if I, I could just see her. The white sesame still loves me. Weep, weep. Is that, are you kidding me? No. No. I came all this way. And I didn't need to. No. Oh, oh, you, you, you. Fight this guy. Fight him, fight him, fight him, fight him. Well, it was worth it, actually. It was worth it. Thank you, game, for being nice. If you find this enemy, this is a criminal caterpillar. It is extremely weak, but if you kill it, it will give you the experience of a boss, and you need to kill- uh, you should kill it. If you see one, no matter how much trials you have to go through to fight it, you want to, because it'll give you levels. Fire Alpha, apparently it knows that! I didn't know that, but it does. It's- it's strong, man. Can we please kill it? Kill it? Yes! Ah, oh, that was worth it. Although Jeff's not getting this experience, Ness and Paula are. 15,000 each. Ness's level is now 31. Offense went up by 1. HP went up by 1. Paula's level is now 29. HP went up by 2. Paula realized the power of defense down alpha. Now, defense down, if we can go there. Uh, is it in... It's in other, or assist. Yeah, it's in assist. Just like, uh, it's the polar opposite of defense, of offense up. It just lowers the defense of an enemy, which, personally, I think this is better than offense up, because if you think about it, if you're facing one boss, you can either A, raise the d the offense of one party member and have him deal more damage, or B, for less cost, you can lower the defense 
of an enemy, and then all of your all of the t party members are dealing increased damage. I like defense down more, to be, to be honest. And I need also to life up Paula. And life up Ness. Okay, I am done with this area, I believe. If not, then I'm done anyway. I I'll come back after going to Foreside, and I'll talk to you. I'll why not? As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. I mean, dessert, not dessert. I'm happy that there are no that there are animals in the desert, aren't you? Not really. Not stinking really, because it means death water. Give me b your your powders. <sighs> this is hard, man. I'm I'm just gonna skirt the rocks here, and I'll look at my map. It just real quick. I have it loaded up on my awesome tablet, which I love, and I got. I'm getting so much use out of. Uh, let's see. I, I need to I need to find this out because it's it's imperative that I make sure that I am getting all of the items and I am okay good let's just leave once again we'll concern ourselves with this wait this guy's different wait oh, I remember this place I remember it no it's a small house but please stay the night oh my goodness oh my game actually this isn't the game this is my brain trolling me I could have just slept here. Ah! We want to remember this area for later. I, I took the liberty of sleeping again to make sure I'm at, at everything full. Everything is full. But remember this area for later because it will be important. In fact, actually, let's go back down. Let's go down. No, we won't. Okay, I don't need to show that because it was literally just a dead end. It was an empty room with, like, a shovel in it, and that was it. And I need to get out of here quickly if I want to end the episode in a proper fashion. But I will I will end it now because we're probably over time. In fact, my timer says, yeah, we're probably over time. Thank you so much for watching, and next time Pal plays Earthbound, we will move on to Foreside. Now that we're at the other side of that traffic jam, we can get to Foreside easily by walking. Ugh, this, uh, this was a hard episode. If you liked it, though, please comment and tell me, and give me a word of encouragement or something. And if you didn't like it for whatever reason, maybe you thought I was just being stupid and I should have slept at that place to begin with, uh, then comment and tell me to sleep in that place and to begin with next time I play through Earthbound. I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and sitting through... Uh, what was honestly a scary experience, taking a lot of damage. See you guys next time.